Hey everybody, this is Jeremy from Vinhammer. You can find us at vinhammer.com. We're a new online auto auction platform. Uh, we're gonna be listing a whole bunch of rare and unique vehicles. And the owners, myself and another guy named Mike out of uh, Tennessee, were huge Jeep collectors, predominantly uh, CJ era Jeeps. And we'd like to show you real quick what to look for when inspecting a Jeep for purchase, especially if you're gonna be buying a Jeep, you know, sight and scene like, like we do uh, quite often. So this is a 1986 CJ7, really low miles, about 20,000 miles, but I just got this in from South Carolina. So again, I had to purchase this sight and scene. Sorry about all the noise, real windy day today, So, uh, but we'll do our, be our best here. But here, check out the Jeep. I'm gonna go over a few areas um, on the outside, inside and undercarriage that are really critical um, to looking at prior to purchasing your vehicle. So I know this has no rust, but I'll show you the areas right here. We'll start off with the windshield frame. The windshield frames generally rust around the uh, the perimeter of the gasket. If you see minor rust, you know, this one again, this one doesn't have any, but if you start seeing some minor rust bubbling here, uh, you can bet good and well that the inside of the windshield frame is going to have rust once you remove it. So inspect that area real well. Inspect behind the hinges for rust real well. And also the cow area. If you pull this back, you know, they, they use some sort of factory like RTV, so, uh, can't really do it right now, but if you pull this back, um, you want to inspect underneath the cowl as best as possible, especially if you fold down the windshield, you can do a little bit better. Um, really important area because water gets inside, whether it be through rust that you already have in the frame or through the uh, the wiper pivot arms right here, Rust gets water gets inside, which causes rust. That's the first area. We'll go to the, oh, well, another area on the outside here that we'll cover real quick is next to the tailgate. These areas are where your body, your body mounts are. Um, you can actually see the mount. If you look real closely behind this, behind the bumper, a little, a little space over here. These areas collect uh, water, mud, debris, and a lot of times the metal here will be real soft. So you gotta be uh, conscientious of that. Look carefully. Go to the inside of the vehicle now. I have the seat forward. So we'll start off with the, with the rear floorboard and excuse all the filth. I haven't had a chance to clean this yet. But you definitely want to check underneath the carpet in a few areas. So lift up the carpet in the back. You know, uh, the low points, which are generally where the rear passenger put their feet, and then the, the front floorboard where the driver and passenger put their feet. These areas are the lowest point of the vehicle. Um, so they collect a lot of uh, water, and that equates to rust, especially if you have carpet. If you have carpet, that water is going to stay, uh, the carpet is going to stay moist, and you're going to have constant water. Um, moisture on your on your metal so you have to be real careful so inspect underneath the carpet real well inspect the roll bar feet don't forget to check back there in the corner again sorry about the filth you're going to want to lift up the, the front and, and passenger carpet real well inspect underneath there this area is called your a pillar the a pillars are really prone to rusting because they collect water and moisture and they, they have a little hole over here it's hard to see but a lot of times water gets in there or water gets through the through the seam sealer and, and it gets trapped between the A-pillar and the outside of the tub. So that area rust is very, very prone uh, for rusting as well. Okay, so you check the roll bar feet in the front. You also want to check the roll bar feet in the back. Again, if you have a soft top, a hard top, whatever it is. You're going to get water inside the Jeep no matter what. You know, AMC didn't have really good quality control standards. Every Jeep leaks. I don't care what you tell me. But definitely check around the, the feet of the roll, the, the roll bar, front and back. The back, you want, you want to definitely want to lift up the carpet here. Make sure you have a nice, clean rear floorboard. You don't want rust there. So I pretty much covered the outside of the Jeep. Let's cover some other areas. First and foremost, this area right here, which is... Basically, you can see the roll bar mounts is right behind the roll bar feet. Um, so even though you might look in the inside and you don't see any rust around the roll bar feet, a lot of times the rust, the water, you know, gets captured in the back, uh, stays moist behind the roll bar feet or on the bottom. And if you look at this area, it'll be bubbling out. So be, definitely be cautious for rust there. The shackle hanger area of the frame in the back, these areas are really prone to rust as well. You know, you have these holes in the frame. Water gets in there, especially if you're in salted areas, you'll have, uh, um, you know, muddy salt water basically inside the frame and the frame will rust from the inside out. So check those areas too um, for rust and be real careful. Same thing with the front shackle hangers. So you wanna check the front frame. If that area 
it checks out pretty good. Uh, usually it's pretty indicative of the entire frame. Well, the, if both these areas check out good, that's indicative of the entire frame. And you can you can expect, expect that to be pretty representative. And the engine compartment, lastly. You definitely want to check the frame near the near the uh, motor mounts. Um, these batteries, they all, they, you know, a lot of them leak or they're getting neglected over the years. So battery acid will either, you know, destroy the the battery tray, and it even drips down to the bottom of the fenders. So check the fenders real well, especially the passenger side fender um, for rust. Check the bottom of this area, which is your, you know, the the front floorboard. Check that area real well for rust. And that's pretty much it. You know, if you inspect all these areas and, and they and they turn out to be, uh, you're happy with the photos, you, you can bet for the most part that this Jeep is going to be pretty rust-free. Or if you do find rust in these areas, you can probably expect those areas to be the worst. Um, so, yeah, thanks for checking out the video. Um, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. We're going to have a lot of vehicles up for auction here in the next, uh, in the next few weeks. And hopefully we're going to continue to grow. Appreciate it. Thank you, guys.